Hello everybody, Colin here, and welcome to the stream. <clears throat> Pardon me, I am uh, coming at you guys on a Thursday afternoon, keeping it nice and relaxed, and we're going to do a little bit more of our sweet, sweet <laughs> coloring of Space Scout Claire. Um, let's make sure that this is picking up the sound at least. I don't know. Doesn't seem like it is here on Twitch. It's weird that some of this stuff just is not working today. Let's see if that's a little better, shall we? Let's see if that picks it up. If you guys are out there watching and you can't hear me, yell it out in the chat. <laughs> Okay, sounds like it's coming through here on our sweet, sweet little mixer. So that's good. If it's too low or too light or anything like that, let's raise this up a pinch. See how that is. How's that sound? How's that sound balance for all you guys? Hopefully pretty good. Hopefully it's okay. <clears throat> Pardon me, I have come down with a cold. Or something, I don't know. Sinus infection. Something like that. So, fun stuff. <laughs> I, I feel great. <laughs> and that's just how it is. So let me test, test the chat. Let's see what we got. Looks like they're coming through on my side, which is great. I'm happy about that. Let me slide this away. Mm. And there we go. We can get into the fun. So, if you guys remember from before, we were doing Space Gal Claire. I have not even opened this file since then. So there we have it. That's what we've got thus far. So I like the way it's coming along. I'm happy with a lot of parts of it. Obviously today we're going to need to work on this stuff down here the lower portion, then we can go back and fix things up. I think for now though, let's get cracking on this rocket, shall we? <clears throat> so, underneath of our pasted layer here, which I'm gonna rename. Ink layer, actually. So I see it when I'm scrolling down a little easier. Uh, I'm going to create one that is just below the ink layer and above all the mountains and everything else. New layer. And we're going to call it Sill Rocket Ship. And now this should actually be not that difficult. Um, getting this stuff thrown in. 
I'm going to use the lasso tool here as I can kind of go just behind these inks. Just around them a little bit and get this nice rocket ship silhouette put in. Hmm. Hopefully all of you guys out there doing great. I'm a little under the weather. You might be able to hear it in my voice. Uh, I came down with something right after Erie Comic Con where I was this past weekend. Shilling my art wares. Uh, hanging out, having a good time with some friends, meeting people, seeing some some uh, people I've seen at other shows, you know, clients and and uh, I'm not going to say fans. That's weird. Uh, I will go with friends that have purchased artwork. <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, it's weird. Like, you know. Uh, I'll try to describe someone who's come down up to my booth. It, it shows like, you know, they're convention attendees and they'll be like, hey, you know, I, I love your stuff. What do you got new? Blah, blah, blah. And it's great. And we'll, you know, we'll chat and relax and talk. And it's a lot of fun. But at the end of the day, it's like I have such a weird. Um, I have a weird thing with calling them a fan. I don't know. I just feel like fans are something that Hollywood celebs have. <laughs> you know, not me shilling out my art wares. I don't know. If I start rambling, it's because the uh, whatever I have has made its way into my brain area and it's affecting my uh, judgment and higher thinking. So please pardon me today. <laughs> okay, so let's get this guy... Rocket shipped. All right, there we go. We got that in. And we're just going to make this nice and white. Back in here. Once again, if you guys don't remember from last week or you weren't here, I'm doing this all with a mouse. So if it looks kind of like, what the heck are you doing, Colin? Uh, that's why. Because working with a mouse is very difficult. But that's okay. It's a good time, nonetheless. Hi, Peggy. How are you doing today? Hi, Bear Bear. How are you doing? Well, it looks like I'm not getting you guys on the chat here. Hello, All About Art. How are you doing today? How are you guys? Uh, let me refresh my chat. Give me one second here. There we go. Okay, sorry, I must have clicked something. I wasn't seeing your guys' stuff come up. So, uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, glad you all could make it. <coughs> all About Art, I'm, I'm okay. I'm hanging in there. I uh, got a little sick. So, uh, so that's why if you hear me coughing or sneezing or sniffling, pardon that today, guys, uh, pardon that. And if I'm a little, low, if I'm a little lower key than normal, then that's why, um, bear bear. I have not seen my art there yet. Thank goodness. Because that would make me very sad. What I am happy about is that, uh, Erie comic con is done, which is awesome. Um, and that I get to get back into the swing of things with you guys. We got October coming up, the Drawloween season. So uh, I'm super pumped about that. Living Dead Fest, one of uh, my favorite shows of the year, is coming up the weekend of October 5th. Um, you know, time to do artwork, and I'm just, I'm just, yeah, it's all good, man. It is all good. Everything's. Rocking and rolling on my end. I hope you guys are doing great. Uh, sounds like Alabama is pretty hot. I can only imagine. I can only imagine, Peggy. Now, you guys are... Um, I don't know if you're getting any of that uh, hurricane flow, like the, the extra rains or anything like that coming in. Um, I hope not. Let me erase this little line. Now why I do that silhouette is boom I can just I can just get it. 
Mm. Pardon me. Uh, all about art. This is just a straight up, uh, like a pinup illustration, I guess you could say. Um, this isn't really an animation or anything. Um, I went to school for animation. I'd love to get back into it. But uh, at this point, this is just a pinup. Let me color in this rocket real quick. Actually, I'll zoom it out and you guys can see the whole illustration as it's come thus far. Hopefully that's good for you guys to see. And uh, let's color in this rocket to start with some blue to get in there. Now that's obviously way too bright. It, it clearly is um, competing that blue with all of this. All this here where this cool guy's face and Space Gal Claire and all that jazz. Uh, that's that's the focus for me of this drawing. So this spaceship needs to kind of blend in a little more. So we're going to work on that here. Uh, Bear Bear, uh, I I don't think that's a good idea, my friend, because uh, like I said, I'm I'm kind of sick, still getting over it. So I am I am not appealing to look at. I don't want to look at me. I don't want to subject you guys to looking at me either. Uh, <laughs> but. But thank you for the enthusiasm. I appreciate it. Oh, man. <clears throat> yeah, it's been uh, it's one of those things, you guys. We're going to tone this sucker down just a pinch. And then how about you guys? What are you guys thinking for a rocket ship color here? I was thinking we could maybe do some yellowish fins on her. And then maybe the body be kind of like a blue silver. But uh, you guys let me know. Face, thank you, Frankie. Face reveal at affiliate. Yes. <coughs> Pardon me. Mm. Why are monsters all angry looking? That's, I, I don't know. I think it's because nobody, people don't love them enough. You know, people like me, I love my monsters. You guys, you guys should know that. Um... But uh, I just don't think people love them enough. Or in this specific instance, this this cat right here, right? He's just like chilling on his planet, man. And then this this chick has the nerve to come down in her rocket ship and start, uh, for lack of a better term, littering with her camera and her book bag and pencil and all that. She's a litter bug, man. That's, psh, that's not going to fly here. He doesn't like that. Mm. Oh, man. <clears throat> Pardon me. Bear Bear, that's great, man. Uh, keep practicing. I, I say that to everybody. It's like you just got to, you just got to, like, keep doing it and making it, putting it out there. And, you know, my first stuff, you go to, like, my Deviant Art, right? That was where I first started putting art and scroll all the way to the end, to the bottom, I guess. Uh, it's garbage. <laughs> <laughs> but you know that's it's yeah, everybody starts somewhere. I can understand the nerves though. When I showed the uh, pictures of um, Vincent Price and Rod Serling to their respective daughters, uh, when I met them at a convention, man, that was nerve wracking because that's you know that's some big time stuff for me. That's, that's, you know, that's their family. That's their, their parents. So, but they both were, they might've just been being kind, but they said it was great. So I am pleased about that. So let's cut that out and let's paste it into a new layer. Okay, here we go. Another hand-drawn animation, great all about art, that's terrific. You guys, you gotta keep on working at it. Let's turn that opacity down a pinch. Uh, let's go back to a rocket ship color here. Mm, I don't even know where to start with this one. Uh, let's grab the silhouette again. Whew. Yeah, animation would be fun to do, I think. Um, I know, like, you can do it in Photoshop and the like, but I just haven't. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take this color and we're gonna swap it around and we're gonna take this color and darken it severely. Drop the value down. And we're gonna do a gradient. No, nope, that's not right. Let's try this out. That's okay. I dig it. I dig it. Let's check the coloration on it. And this is a fun time for me to zoom it out for you guys. And you guys let me know what kind of color, what kind of hue we got. We have like purples. It's kind of a pink. Into an orange into a yellow and then going the other direction we've got greens into brighter yellows kind of a yellowish gold there what are you guys thinking what do you want to see with this rocket ship we can also lower how light it is jack up the lightness <clears throat> pardon me and for those of you keeping track on GIMP, this is in the hue saturation thing. I can saturate it deeply, lower it so it's black and white. What do you guys want to see? <coughs> mm. Boy, howdy. That feels great coming out of my lungs. I love it. Mm. So while you guys debate on that, um, I'm going to select none. And where's Space Girl Claire here? Looks good as is all about art. We can, I, I can dig that. I can definitely dig that. And we're going to make a nice Claire accessories level. which I'm gonna do in a nice like brownish color, like a leather. Mm. <laughs> you know, when I'm doing a piece like this, I just, I really try to have fun with it, you know, and enjoy the process. Looks good, all righty. You guys are the best, I, I love it. <laughs> you make my job easy. I say, what needs changed? And you say, nothing. Beautiful. I love it. Thanks, Bear Bear. That's exactly how I look, yes. Okay, get that brown. And then I think it's in her face. Yep, and I need to erase this little bit here. Nope, oh, nope, nope, wrong layer. <clears throat> hey Kevin, how you doing, man? Glad to see you. I am finishing up. <coughs> Pardon me, working on this. Uh, we've been through in the past couple weeks. You guys who have stuck around since the beginning, I had no idea what I was going to draw. Just a blank sheet of paper, and we've gone through the conception, the penciling, the inking, and now digital coloring of this space gal fighting this cool. I, he kind of reminds me of like a Simpsons or Looney Tunes character with those eyeballs, but I love it. This creature here. We got a baby Astro brain down there and a Meboid. Mm. This girl does have bad luck. She picked the wrong planet to come to. Uh, Bear Bear, are you saying like if somebody were to ask you for a request to help you with your art? Um, yeah, they can be. I find that, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Um, if somebody is, is wanting, um, 
if somebody is wanting something and you push yourself to get it done fast or whatever, or puts you out of your comfort zone, then definitely, I, I would say definitely um, requests are a good thing. And I think that's what I'm going to be doing once this this whole gal is done, uh, which will hopefully be next week. I'd love to do an art request like we used to do. Uh, just some like, hey, throw something out there and I'll, I'll draw it up for you guys in like five minutes kind of a deal. Um, I think that'd be a ton of fun. We've talked about that before, but unfortunately things have just been crazy for me. Um, between uh, Erie Comic Con this past weekend, getting ready for that, uh, commissions coming up and now getting sick, it's just been like, ugh. But, uh, but you know what? I think, yeah, let's do it next week. I'm making the announcement now. We're doing we're doing requests, baby, and that's going to be great. I'm excited for that. Yeah, definitely pushing yourself is is a big thing for me. There we go. Always got to push yourself further, I think. <laughs> Frankie, I hear you. When you uh, when you showed me that that uh, MacBook, I I like nearly did a spit take. That is crazy. But I bet you that if you got it, it'd be amazing. Like it'd be so awesome, you know. I think it would be cool. Okay, so let's add in her control panel. Yeah, I'm working on a Dell laptop, which, uh, believe you me, uh, when I bought this baby, and it's not nearly top of the line or anything, but it's night and day compared to what I used to have. Uh, when I would render a video on my old PC, it would take about, you know, for like a 10-minute video, it would take to render it uh, damn near an hour. Now, to render a video on this laptop, it takes like four minutes. And I, that's so awesome. You know, I'm so happy with that. And Claire's face, she's going, oh. She is, she is surprised. Okay, so now we can just start filling in a little bit of these accessories here. Uh, lower my size of my brush and... I know people write on, uh, you know, like Photoshop and stuff. They're always using different brushes. I don't know. I don't know jack about all that. <laughs> I don't know squat about it. This brush here I'm using is just, uh, I don't know if you can see it over here. Is I don't know if that appears on the thing, the drop down. Let's see. Oh, the drop downs don't appear for you guys. But the brush is just this little... This little round thing. That's all I'm doing, man. So I don't know about I don't know about all that junk. I I guess the way I figure it, right? Like, cause my digital experience is really um, it comes from my traditional, like the traditional art. And so that's how I think of everything. So I'm like, you know what? You get a, a brush or a pen or something. They don't, have, they don't have different nibs on them. They just got the one thing. And it's like, that's that's generally what I use. I will use different things for texture, but that's a rarity. So let's get this gal's holster. Frankie, this, this is GIMP I'm using. Yeah, love the name. It's... Uh, graphical user or graphical image manipulation program it's the freeware version of photoshop uh, since i am a cheapskate and don't want to pay 20 bucks a month uh, i will use this so and actually the thing is i i have used photoshop uh since using gimp but i'm like so not as good with it so i don't know if gimp has any or uh, i'm sorry I don't know if Photoshop has any specific tools that GIMP doesn't that would make my life a million times easier. But from what I found, I'm just faster right now using this. Um, I just get in there and boom, do what I need to do and, and that's it. So if anybody knows anything more about Photoshop or why I should be using it, let me know. 
because, uh, you know, I've said, oh, I use GIMP to people, and sometimes they're aghast, like, oh my god, why don't you use Photoshop? It's the industry standard. Okay. Boom. Uh, let's see what other accessories she's got that I need to deal with. So what do you guys think out there? Should her gloves be a different color? Because that's kind of how I drew them. They're, they're obviously gloves. But uh, you guys let me know what's a good color for her gloves. And definitely the boots, too, I think are going to be different. They, they have a different texture, that like leather work texture on them. Um, but what are you guys thinking, man? We can do something fun. We can make it be purple. Uh, I, I would say not greenish or bluish because then they'll compete with this guy, this background. But uh, you guys let me know what you are all thinking. <laughs> we could do that. Mm. All about art. Yeah, and mainly most of my stuff is traditional as well. That's where the inking from this came in. But I figured, you know, what the heck? Let's do some digital color and let's get it done. Let's have some fun with it. So for now, I'm just going to paint in this boot a purple or silver. I like that. Purple would go really well with her yellow outfit. And as we know, Claire here is a fashionista. So she is she is all about the uh, all about that fashion. So let's just zip this in. Great. Check out my brush size. There we go. And let's do the same thing here for the arm. Use a big brush, I can just slap this in real nice and easy. Purple gloves. Hey, All About Art, you have a great night and we will see you on the next one. Don't forget next week is a viewer request week. So I'll pop in and maybe you'll get something you want drawn. Thanks again, we'll see ya. Okay, and then these fingers are gonna be a blast to do. So looking forward to this. Alrighty. Now, Frankie, how do you do this stuff in, uh, cause you use all like Illustrator and vector based. Is there a lot of like traditional style drawing with that or because I, I know not a ton about that. I've done some logo work in it in vector, but that's that is about it. OK, boom, boom. And let's see what it looks like all together. Yeah, I think the purple looks good. I dig it. Select none. She uh, she definitely stands out. The purple definitely stands out. <laughs> Slightly darker purple. We can do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd love to see it. Yeah. Uh, darker purple. That's almost black. Let's see. It's kind of a royal purple, but let's get it in there. That looks a bit better. Uh, what do you guys think? That looks a little bit better. I'm digging it like a garden. <sighs> okay, so while we're doing that, let us grab all this brown and we could start highlighting the accessories. Keeping my idea that the light source is coming from the upper left down. Real quick, let me erase. Sometimes little like relics from scanning get caught, so. Hmm.
There we go. Got it. So I'm going to take that local color and I'm going to lighten it up. And with my paintbrush, make a big blurry. Just like that. Over the opacity a pinch. Just to give it that nice little bit of highlight on the edges. edge light there okay cool I like that and let's do the, roughly the same thing here the upper lighter portions a little bit of highlight where the reflective bits are good deal <coughs> pardon me okay and same with along here. Just wherever that light's going to be hitting. Like so. Okay, I dig it. I think these little nodules are going to be like different colors too. So we can add those in here in a minute. Same with on this control panel here. Let's make it really nice and shiny. Something like that. That'll be good. <laughs> That's good. All right, so we'll make these nodules here kind of a goldish color. So Frankie, if you're still there, are you uh, are you all recovered from the the weekend? I know it took me like a day and then I got then I got sick which sucks. <clears throat> okay. Let's make this thing a nice silvery color. Go around it. I bet. <clears throat> I bet, man. Yeah, I know for me it was uh, Tuesday or um, no, yesterday when I felt like I I felt the worst. And I ended up sleeping until like noon. <laughs> and it's still, it wasn't like a good sleep. It was like a, it, this sucks kind of sleep. Just one of those things, I guess. like that even a darker there let's get a nice circle going here that'll work
Yeah, make it even darker. There we go. <clears throat> And then let's give it a little bit of a highlight here. By making this really light and really small. Nope, not light, not light enough. Hi Lakota, how you doing today? Welcome to the stream. I think we're getting pretty decent with getting this in. Uh, good, a little sick, a little under the weather, um, but nothing too bad. I'm happy to be in chatting with you guys and getting back to doing some good work. Uh, it's better than being cooped up in bed, you know, feeling sorry for myself. So here I am. All right, let's zoom this out, see how it looks at a distance good I like that I think that turned out good mm. okay now we can go in and give her various accessories just a little a little howdy doo da here <laughs> yeah nothing serious just you know feels crappy Oh, that's barely perceptible. Thanks, Lakota. Yeah, we've been working on this thing for a couple of weeks now, and uh, the whole gist was I wanted to make sure I took you guys along for the ride from complete nothing image to finale. What I'd like to do after this then, too, once it's all done and in the books, is... Um, Take all the video footage I have and then just do like a nice time lapse with it. You know, make it a nice like 10 minute time lapse. Down from like, I don't know how many hours we have into this. Four. Four plus. It's like 10 hours maybe I think we've got into this. This shebang. But uh, we're working on it. We're getting there. I like that. And I'm glad to have all you guys out there in chat land, viewership land, along for the ride, too, because I think that's, I don't know, fun. Okay, let's give her some like red buttons. And even more vibrant where these are popped out. There we go. bright green right there we do a bright blue here like 
this kind of yellowish. Why not? Why not? <laughs> and what's nice is being able to select these little bits. Darken here. Like so. <clears throat> oh, back you go. Yep, so it's been it's been good. Uh, I am definitely gearing up for Halloween. I'm so excited. I don't know about you guys out there, but I'm like pumped about Halloween. My favorite time of year, hands down. And hopefully pretty soon I'll be putting up the decorations. And yes, very exciting. Let's get like a bright ass green. There we go. Let's make, I don't know, some kind of waveform on there. Why is it there? I don't know. For funsies. Let's see how it looks. <coughs> Good, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Let's go in next and uh, dig with her boots and stuff <laughs> so we'll get our color let's put in a highlight let's lighten it almost to white uh, I don't like that and we need to Add this little dot. Come here. Come here, dot. Alright, we've added that. We've added that. Now let's do it. And the other thing I'm going to do is grab up a little bit of this red color here. This is the red from the ground underneath of her. And uh, again with low opacity. I'm going to put it in on the underside of this boot where the ground is reflecting. The, the color of the ground is reflecting up onto her. And that'll be cool. And uh, yeah, I dig it. I dig it. Although I don't like that little tiny, that little tiny single dot right there. Let's fill that in. Good. I think that's good enough for her boot for now. I mean, I think it looks generally fine. Uh, let's do the hands here. So we have one more step. Fill that area in. That looks good. Select it all. And you're going to get some of that local color off of this dude. brush size that we can kind of just put in here as her glove is reflecting that. Good deal. And now we'll go to a nice super dark purple.
let's do a highlight. So there we go. And then let's blur that a bit. Hi, Bear Bear. Welcome back. It's okay, man. I, I found that when I was streaming, I have to have it connected to the Ethernet, which you'd think I would have known, but I never did. But I never did. There we go. <laughs> Pardon me. Now let's go in and do much the same with the other glove here. No problem, Bear Bear. We'll see you next week, but man. There we go. Now let's get out our fun little highlight color. Get in some highlight there. And just on the edges of the fingers. Like so. And let's blur the crap out of it. Right, let's back out. Let's see how that looks. Good enough for me. I like it. Okay, so I feel like Claire's body is definitely coming along. Um, we can work a little bit more here with the, she's got those two bullets coming. She's probably wearing a backpack, I would assume. <clears throat> so let's work with that, clear accessories. We'll leave that on the same layer. Let's do, let's add to her silhouette. I'm glad this is coming together well enough. I was kind of worried about it, to be honest with you guys. But thus far, your old pal Colin is a happy camper. Which is, as we know, the best kind of camper. Unless you're Jason Voorhees, in which case the answer is dead campers are the best kinds of campers either way i digress it's interesting though too i find that the, doing the digital like this takes a lot more uh concentration than just doing like the regular just drawing with a pencil i don't know why maybe because i'm not used to it but I feel like I can uh, sit with a pencil and just like go bananas and talk to you guys and it's all good. But like when I'm doing this, I feel like much more of a need to concentrate. It's very interesting. I don't know if that's just because I'm not used to this kind of work or not. But either way. All right, where's Claire's silhouette? 
Do that. And now on the accessories level, we can start adding in. Lakota, I, I hopefully will. Um, uh, that A lot of that's going to be up to time, if I have the time to go see it. And who with? I know my, my wife is not a horror movie fan. So that's, uh, it's always kind of a... Like, I'll never know if I'll get to go and see stuff like that you know hopefully i will how about you are you looking forward to it i think it looks great frankly there we go I love the, the newest trailer where he follows that woman into the house and like gets a hammer and then a knife. It just looks amazing. And I'm I'm excited. I'm excited to think there can actually be a good Halloween movie coming out around Halloween time. Like how amazing is that? We haven't had a good Halloween movie for a while so let me ask you guys out there what is your feeling of the Halloween movie where um, Michael Myers ends up fighting Buster Rhymes in a kung fu fight because I kind of have a soft spot for that it's so god awful that it it's awesome like Buster Rhymes beat up Michael Myers in a kung fu battle. That's so stupid. I love it. Okay. <coughs> Pardon me. And now let's do the uh, interior of her helmet here. Which I think I'm going to do in a... Dark blue purple color, I think, would be good. Yeah, Frankie, uh, just look up that one part on YouTube. Like, the rest of the movie isn't worth watching just to get to it. The end where Buster Rhymes fights Michael in a burning house in a kung fu battle. But that part is amazing. <laughs> it's so bad. I love it. Uh, oh, nope, that's not what I want. Now, Lakota, are you talking about in the peripheral, like, when he's walking up her, like, driveway and gets a hammer and then beats her to death with it or whatever? Yeah, you would have thought, you would think that. But still, looks cool. I mean, 99% of horror movies or slasher flicks are predicated upon people not having very good peripheral vision. So you just got to take it. There we go. Yeah, check it out. The, the the Buster Rhymes Michael Myers fight. Oh man. What what a thing. <laughs> it's so it's so stupid I can't even be mad at it, you know?
All right, let's get the blur out. Blur that up. There we go. I'm happy with her thus so far. I think I'm going to monkey around with her face just a bit here. But uh, for now, I like that. I like that. Let's get back to that spaceship. Get our get our rocket ship on. Do you guys remember the movie Rocket Man? I don't know if anybody has ever seen that. Uh, it's where Harlan Williams goes to space. Once again, so terrible. I can't be mad at it. A poor movie. <laughs> Poor, the poor sad movie. Hmm. Let's actually get rid of that. I'm blowing up. Blowing up. Hmm, there's a pasted layer right there. So I don't like that there. I don't like it. So let's do layer, transform, and we're going to flip it horizontally. And then we are going to move it. Onto the dark side of the rocket ship. And there you have it. Oh, there you have it. Okay, so that'll be good. So now I'm gonna fill in the rocket ship window colors. And then I think I'm gonna do yellow for the fins. Yeah, let's do a nice yellow in for those fins, I think. That's just, I don't know, that's just what I'm feeling. Like a gold, maybe? I don't know. See how it works here in a minute. Now, won't we? go and then I'm gonna get a really dark version of that for over in here which is the shadow side fill that in this brighter color with a low opacity and we will go put a little let's see if I can do this with a mouse uh, Oh, it's not even bright enough to see. Okay, we gotta drop that down. 
and do it again. There we go. I dig it. It's good. A nice dark color here. Fill this underside of the rocket in. Like so, blur it up. Because that's how we roll. That's how I roll. And blur it the heck up. Just a pinch darker down here, I think. We'll be good. Now let's see how that looks in distance. I like it. I do. I dig it. Like a garden. Uh, that's one thing that I've always kind of felt. Um, let's just go up to the mountain areas here. Is that uh, you always got to step back? I you can get too wrapped up in the details. There we go. That deletes any of that little stuff that goes over the inks of the mountain, keeps out of our spaceship. But you can get too into the details, and so it's always good to zoom out every now and again, and see what you know, what your stuff actually looks like. From a distance because people are going to be it's going to people are going to see it initially from a distance and uh so it's good to keep that in mind these are just a lighter color almost white here Didn't have to be anything crazy Good, rocket ship, rocket ship XM is in. <coughs> oh. <coughs> mm, delightful, that was great, that was a good one. <laughs> okay. So let's get into the ground. Finish that up. So there's our ground layer. Let's take it out. Let's put it back. That's good. I like that. Oh. Damn you, fuzzy select. There we go. All right. That's, that's our ground. That's our ground. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It, it's one of those things I tend to get caught up on the details, but sometimes, you know... The whole image, the, those little details don't really matter that much. Definitely something to keep in mind. Something I found that is helpful. So let's get our ground color. Yeah. And a nice darker version with low opacity. Sorry, Lakota, if it's the blob theme, that's coming through on my end. I have some music on in the background. So if that's what you're hearing, don't panic. It's it's just the blob. It sounds like a jazzy, upbeat song for such a, a movie about a killer blob from outer space that dissolves people. But that's why we love it, dang it. Let's 
So let's fill in some of this here, uh, the shadows, these rock formations, these strange strata and stalactites. There we go. <clears throat> Looks like we're going to have to erase some of this up in the mountains here to make sure this sticks up nice and straight. So let's do that here. Go in and we can just nicely just start zipping through this thing. Oop. And I already screwed up. First click and it's screwed up. Good, good, good. Okay. Great. So let's go back to our ground. Let's get our ground color. Let's pop this beauty in. There we go. Come on, come on, ground color. You can do it. You can do it. There we go. Finally. We just start kind of coloring in. So, I don't like either of those. Edit, undo, undo, undo. <laughs> Let's blur it up a bit with our beautiful Gaussian blur. Put up to like nine. There we go. That'll work for me. Let's get our highlights in. That's always fun. I'm going to use the airbrush tool for this. Why? I don't know. There's a mountain overlay. We need to erase that little bit right there. Good deal. Go back to ground. Keep putting in these just little rock highlights here and there. Oh, the little eyeball monster guy. Yeah, he's peeking out for fun. What is he up to, that little bugger? That little scamp. To mountain overlay. <clears throat> yeah, I wanted to have these little creatures kind of poking their heads out, you know. I, that's what I like is like, you know, just 
little things like that that you can get lost in. They're not important, but they're just fun little, you know, little bits and and pieces, things to look at and go, oh, I never noticed that. What the heck is that? I always find that kind of stuff fun. <clears throat> There's a couple more guys down near the bottom that you guys have probably seen. Oh, I'm doing this on the wrong layer. Damn. Oh, well. That's okay. Whatever. As long as it gets done somehow, I'm okay with that. Alright, so there we go. I'm liking how that's turning out thus far. Uh, <clears throat> with those little stalactites in the background are pretty fun. Um, let's get into that foreground. Since that's in the front, I'm going to put it way in the front layer. New layer. Let's do front rocks. And of course, first thing I'm going to do, put in a nice silhouette. So when I need to grab them later, I certainly can. And I screw it up immediately. Good, good, good. Oh, the joys of using a mouse to do art. It's, it's a good time, let me tell you. But, you know, that's one of the joys of the digital coloring is the ability, like, I've just screwed up. And I can just, it's, it's fixed now. That's so wonderful. It's an option you don't have on a piece of paper, which is, I think, the benefit of the digital coloring. So many layers. Next time I do digital coloring, stick figures. Yeah, I hear you on that. No smudge, no, uh, no, none of the little like remnants you get. I know sometimes, you know, I tend to press my pencil down on the paper really hard and it leaves an indentation and all that junk. <clears throat> Pardon me. Here we go. Zippity doo da, zippity day. Uh, it's a wonderful day. And then it's a wonderful day to sit on the couch and do nothing. Hmm. Play some video games, maybe. That sounds like a good afternoon. Watch a movie. Or hang out with you guys on the stream. There we go. Let's get that beautiful silhouette going. Gorgeous rock silhouette. Mm. That's how we do it. Okay. 
Very good. Good. I got my rocks in silhouette so I can, um, I'm actually going to change the name of this layer. So now I can grab that silhouette anytime I need to. And I could start kind of plugging it in, filling this in here. I'm going to create a new layer called Front Rocks. And. Go with a nice dark red. Yep, that's um, a little too saturated. Let's lower the saturation. That's a little better. I want it to be nice and dark, but not be like too vibrant. I want them to kind of frame in this the this this bottom of the picture. They almost make kind of a nice like circular shape, and that's something I wanted to do. Is this has a nice frame? Uh, unfortunately, his hands there, so it goes up, and it kind of goes around this way like that. If you guys can see my mouse moving, it really highlights her. His face is kind of on its own thing, so it, it works kind of weird. But you know, every drawing you're you're kind of working to get better at, so. No use, no use getting all bent out of shape about it. So let's get a lighter color. Let's airbrush again. Just these highlight areas here. Let's get them in. Let's jack that opacity up a bit more. You know, as Bob Ross says, in our world, there's no mistakes, just happy accidents. Well, with digital coloring, you can make mistakes. Be aware of that. There we go. There, I'm happy with that. Um, I can then go in and start doing her accessories, this little Astro Brain dude, and all that kind of fun shenanigans like that. Let's do it. Those were pretty easy to slap in there, just like, boom, and they're in. Let's do wildlife. Silhouette wildlife. There we go. And this is where I'm going to We'll fill in. We'll make it our little eyeborg will be the first guy. I don't know. What do you think for the name of this like eyeball tentacle guy? The race of eyeball, eyeball tentacles. Eyeballians? I don't know. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> Done. All right, let's do our astro brain. Our baby astro brain. Oh, he's so cute. If he stays in school and drinks his blood, he'll grow up to be a big, strong astro brain, destined to conquer the universe and eat the flesh of humans. So cute. <clears throat> so adorable. All right, let's get his big old brain put in. Did you know that Astro Brains actually have multiple backup brains? So even if you were to shoot off these lobes, they're still good. They can still think, they just get more angry. Mm-hmm. 
Hmm. Pardon me. Baby Astro Brains. Oh. All right. And hopefully this should work. Yes. There we go. Looking terrific. I like it. And let's do our amoeboid up here as well. Amoeboids are giant sentient amoebas that live on whatever the heck planet we're on. And by sentient, I just mean they're, you know, <laughs> you couldn't tell. They're very different from you and I. But let's get a silhouette in so that we can color in whatever shade we want real easy. I think he might be some kind of purple color. I don't know. What do you guys think? go okay and then I see these little ink areas here let's get those get rid of them they're just on the edge but still let's trim them out okay so we got our little eye guy we got our amoeboid we got our baby astro brain hanging out ready to get colored let's do that silhouette wildlife we can just select them all real nice astro brain he's all going to be on one layer let's do him first now as we know the astro brains have green tentacles so let's take our rock color here And let's change it to a green. And we can add this in pretty easily. Like so. Zippity doo da. And there we go. That's why I do those nice silhouettes. Now let's make a nice dark green. Let's get in our airbrush. Do the bottoms of the legs, kind of around the base of the brain here, where it's all shadowy. Oh, look out, I just made them up. I just used them in a bunch of different stuff, and I figured, hey, alien planet, astro brain, let's, let's do this thing. So, they're an original creation. <laughs> what, do, what do they say? What do the, what do the young kids say these days? Original creation, please don't steal. So yeah, they're just my dudes. There we go, good enough for me. Let's get his, let's do the face next. Yeah, one of the little alien creatures poking their heads around, so I said, what the hell, let's do a, let's do a fun little baby astro brain in there. Yeah, I've done a couple different Astro Brains drawings over the years. And they've all been fun. I've enjoyed each and every one of them. All right, so let's select that color of his face. And then we can get in with a darker version. And airbrush it in the shadowy bits. Yeah, 
And let's get a nice lighter version. Airbrush it on the highlights. Easy peasy. Lemony squeezily. Mm, I don't want it to be white. Let's make it be off yellow. And we can select this area. Oh. Tinge it reddish a bit, pinkish. There we go. That's good. And now let's, last but not least, <clears throat> let's do this brain color, make a nice pink. Let's see how this works. That's the joy of working digitally. If you don't like it, you can change it later. go and then let's select all that nice pink uh, once again darker we'll do the airbrush here darker areas get hit with the shadow like so and then lighter areas get hit with the highlight Like so. There we go. Good deal. Let's back out, see what we've done. That's good. He's just crawling around down there, hanging loose, keeping it real. Let's move into our amoeboid. You guys tell me what color you think the amoeboid should be. I personally am into like a purplish right now, like a pink purple, but that's just me. Let's go for some like weird. Oh no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do any of that. Ah, I'm going crazy. Amoeboid. There we go. some weird little zippity doos uh, we are going to then take our eraser turn off hard edge erase a little bit there like he's bleeding into the rocks Get some blues and greens in there too. Softly with the airbrush. And then let's get some cool, like, uh, just bright red, like poppy bits. Oh. 
colors are purple. Let's get nice and dark here. And fill in these little things. I don't know what they are. Bits of the amoeboid. Filter, reshow Gaussian blur. Really blend that all in. <clears throat> Pardon me. <clears throat> some highlights here and there just some there we go there we go let's see how that all looks good good it might need to be toned down a little bit, but uh, we'll do that near the end. Once I trim it. Now, it looks pretty purple because we're seeing a lot of stuff that extends off the edge of the page. I don't think it's going to be too, too bad once I crop it all near the end. All right, so we're coming along really nice with this. Silhouette of the space tools. Let's put all these things into silhouette. A nice silhouette layer. So I can work with them. It might be easier to do this with the, the doohickey. This tool, whatever it's called, the lasso. This way I can at least select everything. There we go. This extends off the page, so that's fine. And boom, we got it, we got it, man. Let's get her little piece of paper here. And her space pencil, because as we know, everything that she uses in space will be called a space whatever. Space pencil, space pen, space paper, space backpack. And of course, Tang. Mmm, to drink. There we go. For those of you paying attention to home, we're gonna now start doing her space brush. There we go. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Turn the hard edge back on. There we 
go. That's a silhouette of her space brush. And now we can work on her, what do you call it, kids? Space camera. Let's do it. Once again, I'll use the lasso tool. I think it's just going to make it's going to be a little more expedient. You got it, Lakota. Space camera. What does Claire wear on her hands? Space gloves. You got it, Lakota. Okay, so that selects all of that. And then I'm going to go in with the subtract from current selection lasso. Go around this like interior part. There we go. And fill it with our white. Beautiful. Okay. <clears throat> now I can select all the space tools real easily here. We created just a space tools layer. that I can start going over this with. Let's make her stuff, um, I don't know, what do you guys think? How about the backpack? I'm thinking like a bluish purplish. Or even like into a gray. Let's see how this looks. <laughs> This is the shadow side. That's not bad. I think that sh shadow side should be a bit darker. There we go. And let's make the regular side a bit lighter. Match the space boots. Well, let's give it a whirl. I don't think matchy matchy is the right way to go, personally, Lakota, because then I think you're going to lose the boot when you're in a, at a distance. Unless it's a, this is just me, and we could try it that way. But I think that you know you're going to see the gloves here, the boot. If the boot's the same color, they're so close, they're kind of going to blur a bit. But uh, let's try it and see what happens. I mean, what have we got to lose, right? Nothing. So this is the local color on her boot. <laughs> and then we can do the highlight color for the lighter areas. So, 
And then for the really dark areas, we can go into the Oh, well, I think that's it. We have to get it off of our hand. color around so then you guys tell me how does that look or do you like it like it was before we'll do 50 percent there we go <laughs> Might be able to kind of a blue green into green, kind of a blue, and then we could. lower the saturation we could do something like that might offset it by just a bit I like that how's that look to you guys And then let's do like a, oh, man, I suck at this. Come on, straight lines. I know I can make, ah. <laughs> I know you're in me somewhere, straight lines. I just need you to come out and play. There we go. They were in there, guys. They were just hiding out. Do a much lighter version of this. Ah. You know, like, I don't know about you guys, but as an artist, I know that it's supposed to be inspirational, but you'll see like tote bags or t-shirts that's like color outside the lines, you know, where it's like it's like you've been taught your whole life that you should color inside the lines. But now we're telling you, don't do that. Color outside the lines. And uh, there's this part of me that's just like, no, you should color in the lines. Like, your drawing's going to look so much better that way. Don't tell kids this nonsense. They're going to believe it. All right, so the piece of paper jutting out with my signature on it. Kind of lighten that up a bit and use a smudge tool here color outside the lines don't don't do that stay in the lines kids stay in the lines it's going to help you get technically better
Ah! There we go. Okay, do some of that. <coughs> oh man. Mm. Mm. Feels good. Feels good. Yes. Do that. Okay, there we go. We'll do that. I don't know. Maybe we'll have a nice yellow number two space pencil for Claire. Because in the future, not much has changed. Same with the brush, we'll make it kind of, I don't know, silvery maybe, something like that. This underneath. There we go, and then like so, and we'll make the bristles kind of that yellowish color. like a so. There we go. Okay, on to the space camera. Let's do this thingamajigger. Uh, we'll make the strap brownish. Because why not, right? <coughs> Pardon me. Put some highlights here. And then an even sharper highlight with a brighter color, smaller size, a little less opacity, zinc, zank, zonk, and zunk. Those are the, that's the noise those make. Just trust me, that's what they, that's what they sound like. Um, okay. Let's get out a bluish gray. Slap it in on this thing. It's a NASA special. Um, there we go. 
and make that a nice big reddish purplish button up there I don't know what it does we don't need to know the yellowish here and here let's go to down to white slap this in And then up here we will, you know what, this whole thing is a little wonky to me. I don't like it. I don't like it. You know, I think you might be right. <laughs> Hi Jared, how are you doing today? Yeah, in case she takes a picture of something she really doesn't want to see, uh, that red button just blows the camera straight to hell. So. Oh, no. Where am I at? Where am I at? Um, hello, Jared. Uh, I'm good. I'm a little under the weather, but uh, that's okay. We're just, you know. Getting to it and uh, getting some art done. That's fun. Just having at it, you know. Keeping it real. Silhouette of space tools. Let's select it. Let's get out that nice dark color. Not the red, because we don't want to self-destruct our own camera because of the horrible things we've seen with it. And I did that on the wrong layer. Good, good, good. I think my brain is starting to just uh, go. I think my mind is starting to leave me. So that's always a plus. Always something to be pleased about here. My brain just deciding it has had enough. All right, there we go. We got Claire's space camera done. Okay, let's go back into the ground area. It's got a nice dark shade. Let's make sure we get this in here to differentiate and let people know that that's a pit. Awesome, awesome. Jared, are you getting excited for Draw Halloween this year, man? I know I sure as heck am. I might try to work on getting uh, <clears throat> one of the first videos filmed this afternoon if I'm filling up to it. Okay, there we go. And this last part here. Oh, 
Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Now, Inktober gives prompts as well, right? They say, like, today's theme is, like, I don't know, bungee jumping or, or whatever it is. Some shadow put in there. Perfectione. Put extra shadow put in under her leg. Like so. The Inktober sounds like it'd be a blast. All right, before I forget, we gotta get this little guy done. Which is under wildlife. There we go. That's good. So let's back out. Let's take a look, see what else we need to do, what we need to work on, etc. Blah, blah, blah. All that fun stuff because uh, we are rapidly approaching <clears throat> Dunsville, Idaho for this piece of art. <coughs> what do you guys think what are y'all thinking let's go ahead and start the crop I'm feeling like we're in a good position to do that so this is this is where it to me, it gets a little exciting where we go from, you know, random piece of art to, like, thing that's freaking done, you know? Thank you, Lakota. That is very appreciated. right up there just like so all right let's give it a whirl so I still see some things that need done with it but but the major the major portions are put in so let's zoom out so that's what it looks like cropped and there are some issues here and there I'm having with it um, such as things I'm noticing right now, uh, this blob red behind her head here, it should match these mountains. And it's just, just a blob of red, so we gotta get in there and do something with that. Uh, that jumps out immediately. These shadows could have a little more work, so there's still some things to do, but I think the bulk of it, the majority is, is getting, getting there. You know, I think I'm going to pop in in this darkest black areas up here. There's going to be some stars. 
uh, some of this overlaying stuff here on the on the inks I think need to go which I'll work on that right now I might as well see how it overlays there and that's up in the planet so would be planet 2 overlay so we go there we get our trusty eraser out uh, actually well, let's do an intersection here Select all the inks, like that. Now we can erase. Easy peasy, lemony squeezily. Love it. Oh, shoot me down. That's not it. There we go. Another joy of di doing it digitally. I'm mixed about it. Like, I'm, I'm both excited and I'm um, also kind of like, oh... You know, so oh, I keep doing that. You know, some of the old favorites aren't there, and the fact that it's so punny, you know, it's gonna be a little more difficult to talk about like real horror movies and stuff like that. So that's that's kind of a disappointment. But at the end of the day, not bad, not bad, not bad. Just different. And I think I'm okay with that. How do you feel about it? <laughs> Part of it is too for me with the Drawloween is that uh, I sell them at uh, conventions. I only have the one, the Living Dead convention. But, uh, but still, and it's like, ooh, that's going to be, um, that's going to be a tough, some of them are going to be a tough sell, you know. Yep, I can see that. I, I can totally see that. Okay. Let's go into our ink layer. Yeah, man, definitely go for it. Do the uh, do the Inktober. Like, I'm all for just people, like, drawing stuff. Like, I don't care what the challenge is. Just, just draw some stuff. down keep going all right let's see how that looks backed out I like that that's good that's good Yeah, I think we're going to stick with it just because I've done it. I've done Drawloween these past uh, few years, and I'm always up for a challenge, you know? So, like, I'm just like, let's, I'm, I'm going to do it. Like, that's all there is to it. You know? I'm going to give it a whirl and uh, just see what happens. Yeah, 
Okay, now I'll go for a different brush. Um, not the bristles. Not grass. Not oils. There's one that makes these like stars. Not that. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be interesting. That is that is for sure. Um, Chalk, charcoal, galaxy. No, I don't like that. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a challenge, something weird, something different. But uh, I'm up for it. I'm excited. You know? Um, I have no idea what they're going to look like, you know? But, like, uh, that's okay. It'll be good. And I enjoyed seeing your stuff last year too, man. So I'm looking forward to seeing whatever you work on. It's going to be awesome. So I'm, I'm into it. some stars dabbled in it's just like on the marker videos but weirder here Slapping a couple more. Yeah, man, no problem, no problem. I always love seeing people do art. Just makes me so happy. back out even further and look at that I like that with a little bit of stars up there cool adds to that spaciness <laughs> so that's that's good stuff um, <clears throat> pardon me let us get our zoom on <laughs> work with this section back here so that is not ground that's probably mountains yes so we're gonna do mountains I'm going to select this section. We're going to get a mountain overlay. And we're going to stay within mountain.
let's go to Mountain Overlay, which is somewhere here. Okay, so that's good. So this is where things will get fun. Uh, we can take all the silhouette of Claire and select it. So this just selects all of Claire. We can go back up to our mountain overlay, which is over Claire. And we can erase the stuff just in the mountain overlay, which is cool. Like so. Perfection. And I think he needs a couple of, in the inks here, I think he needs a couple of lines to denote the bottom of his arm. Just a few. Looks even that looks better. That looks better. I can tell where it is. So let's go back in here. And I want Claire's Okay, so it's in clear face. Clear headings. Let's select all the headings. Let's go into clear face. And this is nice because we can erase. There we go. Oh, thank you, Jared. I appreciate it, man. It is coming along. It's coming along. At this point, I'm doing things like popping out the inks for her um, eyebrows here. <coughs> The lips are, they, there's, they need an outline of some kind, I feel. And so I think I might actually go in and do, <laughs> this is where we're gonna separate the men from the boys, folks. Should I use this tool? You know, Jared, um, what I'm using here is called GIMP, which is like graphical image manipulation program. And it's essentially the freeware version of Photoshop. So if you're like, I'd always like to check out Photoshop, but don't want to spend the money on it. Um, this is a good tool for that because it's very, very similar to Photoshop, but without the, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Um, I 
without the crazy buy-in for that. So it's it's like Photoshop. It, it's this is a powerful tool. Uh, I like it. I'm not sure what Photoshop has um, that this doesn't. I'm sure there are features, but this I would recommend GIMP as a starting point. Um, and then, if you have any questions, you could feel free to ask yours truly, or there's a ton of documentation online. Just Google search, like, how do I blank in GIMP, and you'll more, more or less get an answer. There we go. Uh, let's raise up a little bit more. There, that was a big old confusing thing I did there, but I wanted to outline the lips a little better. Because without it, it looks like that. With it, it looks like... It just gives that extra tiny bit of definition. What do you guys think? Do you like it with or without? Be honest. Like, I never want you guys to be like, oh, well, you did all that work. I should tell you with looks better. So with, as it is right now, or we are now without. And if you can't see a difference there, well, you know, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I kind of like it with. An extra little bit of definition is good for me. Now we'll also do just a wee little tiny. All right, we got one for with. All of my work has not been for nothing. Thank you, Frankie. A little definition there, so let's back out again. It's all right. It's all right. Mountains overlay. We got to erase some of this here. Do you guys see it? There we go. I know I'm getting nitpicky, but like. It's just how I am with these kind of things, you know? People have said I'm a perfectionist. I don't know about that, but I just, I take a lot of, of pride in my work and I want to put the best image I can out there. So that means going in and doing these little fiddly little bits. I'll do the fiddly little bits. Whatever it takes, man. 
Okay, let's go back, let's zoom out, let's take a look. I'm not sure what I feel, how I feel about her hair now. Hmm. Claire hair. Claire hair too. So let's do it at a distance. Let's do with the clear hair, the overlaying layer, and there's without. There the inks are a lot more prominent. And let's put it back in. Keep the glow on the hair off. Okay, can do. Because yeah, the idea was to lower the, the just shock of the black ink. Um, but yeah, there's something about it that just is uh, something to me. So yeah, I agree. Let's keep it off. Let's go back in there. One thing I see at a distance that I don't like too is this line right here. It looks like it divides up her head. So let's get that the heck out of there. Or most of it. And let's take a look now. So there's with the line. There's without. I'll tell you, I think I like it without, but I think it needs a little black line. Something like that. Let's see how that looks. That's a little better. Okay. Good, good. Come along. <coughs> Let us get in and do a helmet layer. Let's see if I made a good circle when I drew this the circle the circle select tool don't lie so let's see what we get boom I did a good circle when I drew it huzzah I dig it. Okay, cool. Um, we can go in with a little white and do some edges here. Something like that. And we're playing with it. That's just it. That's what I like about doing the doing it digitally. Is uh, if it screws up, it doesn't matter. Well, let's drop the opacity way down on it. Two, and then we're going to get in just like before.
There we go. Okay, so let's get this, and we can kind of in like so. Uh, let's blur that layer. I think that'll be a good look. Maybe blur by 10. Sweet, sweet. And then <clears throat> let's go into the ink layer. I was never keen on this line here. I think I, I think I don't think I did it right, so. No, no, no. Now let's put it right above the ink layer. Like so, and then let's actually stretch this sucker out. Ah. Ah. Let's move it here for now. There we go. And then one last, well, maybe not one last thing, because I could fiddle with this forever and a day. Um, but one thing I want to do is... Select that. And then I can go into my helmet layers. And just erase just a bit. Come on. <clears throat> Into the wide shot. <laughs> I'll do it again here in a second for you. What I'm really happy about with this one is just bringing you guys along for the ride, you know, like, uh, I love making art, but it's so much fun making it when, uh, you guys are around, you can watch, ask questions, chat, like that's just a ton of fun to me. So this should keep her helmet nice and dark none good deal good deal okay <coughs> oh pardon me mm. I think it's time for more ginger ale oh it's like the only thing soothing enough for my throat here 
All right, so what are some issues you guys are seeing on this thing? Or little areas that could use fixed or touched up or adjusted? Uh, you guys, whoever is out there still watching, let me know. Um, because I want this to be great. So, you know, I, I want it to be better than just like, oh, it's cool. I want it to be like spectacular. Oh, that's helpful. So I think I, I see personally uh, in the this piece of paper here, I don't like that it's just a color. So I'm going to and let's make it just a wee bit darker. a lot darker now that I think about it. <laughs> Frankie man, if you if you want to print it out on your inkjet, be my guest, my man. I will uh, send you a copy of the file when it's done. Help yourself. And then yeah, this would make a cool t-shirt. This would be a lot of fun. Uh, I think I might need, I think I may want to get into doing that, but I don't know. Cause I, I feel like my, the stuff at my art booth, there's too much stuff. Like there's marker drawings, there's prints, there's original pieces of artwork, there's paintings. Uh, I'm all over the place. So I feel like I need to narrow my focus down just a bit. But then there's that part of me that's like, I should totally turn this into shirts. But I'm glad I'm glad you like it enough to think it would be good for a uh, uh, screen print poster. Oh, okay, screen. You're like t-shirt. Screw that. No, I'm joking with you. Yeah, that would be awesome to do as like a big uh, something big. That'd be very cool. How big, how big are you thinking? <laughs> so that makes it a little dustier, I think, which I like. <laughs> oh, pardon me. <coughs> okay. So now the next question I have for you guys is like, so looking at this, right? Um, the inks that are the ones that border the uh, clouds here are very bold. The inks are very bold. Is that good or bad? Or should they be a little bit more like, do you see how these mountains, the inks are toned way down They're They're not black. They're kind of like, they're a lot lighter. Should I do that with the clouds? Or do you guys want to see it real quick that way? And then, yeah, we'll do that. I'll show you, I'll show you both ways. Yeah, Frankie, I like your idea, man. Doing a, a big, like limited print, like a poster almost on these. That would be very, very cool. Uh, where do we got, where do we got clouds? Making everything pop. Okay. So do you, would you prefer I leave the clouds as is and then maybe pop the mountains back out? Oh, Cause I can do, I can do either one. Cause the mountains are easy. Cause that's in, where's mountain overlay? I need inks. Go 
Go mountain overlay. Where are you, mountain overlay? Yeah, I'll show them to you right now. That's pretty easy to do. So there's like the top layer of the mountains popped out. You see how they're a lot darker. <clears throat> Pardon me. Actually, let me just remove this mountains overlay. That's what it looks like with nothing covering the inks of the mountains. This is with stuff on the mountains to make it a little more. You like that? Good. Okay. Let me try doing the rest of them and see how that turns out. So let me go to ink layer, select all the ink. And then mountain overlay. And I can start my journey of erasing. So exciting. Let's get a smaller eraser too, by a bit. I think I'm going to leave those hatch lines that are in the mountains as is. Uh, I feel like they, I feel like otherwise they're going to be just too much. But the lines that delineate the tops of the mountains, we can remove the overlay from them. <clears throat> Pardon me. Being sick blows chunks. Did I do it on this side? I did. Good. Can erase some of that off of this dude's arms while we're at it. These mountains get everywhere. Go. <coughs> oh, pardon me, guys. Sorry about that. All right, moment of truth. Let's see. It. Ah. I do. Okay. I like it. I like it. That's good. That's good. I think that looks better than how it was. So I am, I am pleased with that. Uh, now, before I forget, let me save again for the second time in like two and a half hours. <laughs> cool. All right. I'm digging it, man. Like a, like a freaking garden. Um, anything else you guys see off the top of your head at this stage in the game, what I like to do is not look at this. Like, I don't want to even think about this thing for like a couple of days and then I want to pop back in and then it's easier for me to notice all the different mistakes or errors or things that need corrected. Um, I find that sometimes with a piece of art, I get, uh, how should I put this? I get like too close to it and I'm I need to come back with a fresh pair of eyes almost at a stage where I don't care about it as much because right now I really care about this piece of art like I'm like oh let's make this sucker perfect 
and uh, that's kind of a problem in a lot of ways. Um, you know, I'm just I'm just too close to it. I don't know how to describe it better than that. Uh, and it's nice then when I come back, I can look at it a lot more objectively, and say, oh yeah. I totally screwed this up. Oh, yeah, I totally screwed that up or, you know, stuff like that. And so that's kind of how I like to leave things like that. Let's get this smudged out. And I could just fiddle with this junk all the live long day, adding in these little things. Let's make it even darker. There we go. Yeah, I like the way that this has all been turning out. It's been great. Add some nice smudging in. All right, yeah, let me zoom us out. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm really, I'm really liking how this has been coming out. This is, a, it's been a lot of fun. And I love this like retro 50s sci-fi stuff. Uh, just awesome. Just awesome stuff. Mm. Cannot complain. So yeah, unless you guys see anything very specific that you're like, hey, I, I immediately see this as a problem or... Um, or there's something not right about this. Uh, let me know in the comments, um, and I can try to work with it now. But yeah, other than that, I think I'm gonna set this aside for a couple days, and um, and that'll be that. That'll be that. You know, not think about it. Come back with a fresh pair of eyes, and any little touch-ups I can uh, clean up or deal with or whatever. But, uh, yeah, this has been a blast. Thank you guys for joining me today, then. Uh, <clears throat> I think I'm going to go. I think I need to rest my uh, voice here. Um, yeah, I <laughs> just too much talking. It's starting to really hurt, and it's time for another dose of meds. So uh, thank you guys so much for joining in. I appreciate it. I had a blast. This has been a great drawing coming together. Um, and I'm just so glad to have you guys on board with me this whole time. So take it easy. Have fun, everybody. Do more art. Uh, remember, next Thursday, it's Viewer Request Thursday. So um, uh, thank you guys very much. Thank you guys very much. I will feel better. Next Thursday's Viewer Request. Hop in and, uh, I don't know, five or ten minutes I'll give. And you guys just throw something out. I'll sketch out whatever, uh, whatever wacky ideas you guys can come up with. Uh, keep it, keep it PG-13 on the channel, but you could have, you could have fun with it. We'll have a blast and it'll be great. And I'm looking forward to it. Till then guys, this is Colin signing off. Have a good night, everybody. Goodbye.